What is up guys? Welcome back to Isaac2 HD. Isaac here with a brand new video for you guys today. So as you guys know, I went out of town for a week and possibly had fun over there. Um, I didn't stay out there for that long. Um, we did have a few things to do over there. I wasted a lot of money and officially got all the Lego Ninjago sets for 2024. Um, as my return, this will be the first video of my return. Um, I have all three release Lego wave sets from Ninjago. Um, I'm too excited for this. I honestly can't wait to be building them all for you guys. Um, for the first wave that's been released, I am missing at least six Lego sets, so I'll be buying those soon enough. Um, but to start, I'll, this is like a preview video of all Lego Ninjago sets that I'll be doing for the rest of the year. Um, to start off, we have Lloyd's Elemental Power Mech, which is 253 Lego pieces. It is set 71817, and it's ages 7 and up. As you guys can tell, this Lego set is super awesome. It comes with Nia, Cinder, and Lloyd. Um, I like the Lego set overall. It's just that, um, originally, if you see these two horns, it was the concept for this mech is supposed to be for Nia originally as a samurai elemental mech. Technically, I don't know if I got the name right, but it also never made a appearance in the show, so unfortunately, um, it's like an irrelevant Lego set, but um, it's relevant to Lego in general. Um, I do like it since they built it. Um, it comes with two katana swords for the mech. Um, as you see here, Cinder's fighting Nia and Lloyd's inside the mech. Um, I do love this set overall. It's so amazing. We have the back here. It shows what the other the other mechs can do with this mech um, and how you can combinate them and stuff. But yeah, overall, this is amazing. I love this Lego set. Um, it has a bunch of cool features I actually want to like test out. Um, but yeah, so this is the first one for January Wave. The second one would be Sora's Elemental Tech Mech. It is 209 pieces and ages 7 and up as well. It is set 71807. It is an amazing Elemental Tech Mech. Um, this is one of the appearances in the mini episodes of Lego Ninjago. Um, they made little tiny episodes re revolving around the Elemental Mechs. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the other two. I only have this one. Um, they only released those small ep mini episodes to show off the Lego sets and promote them. Um, it comes with Sora and the Wolf Claw Mask Warrior. Um, but yeah, um, I like how they have this design for, like, the dragon, like, the dragon's rising, like, core when they throw up the discs or whatever. Um, but... I, I have an, a personal opinion about this, revolving around the mini episodes, including with the mech, it's not a complete, um, ideal, like, because it's not completely, like, 100% comparison. Um, some of it is different, some of it is not, um, but I do love it overall, because it's a mech, and as you guys know, in season one of Dragon's Rising, Lego Ninjago, she already has a motorcycle mech, um, it's amazing, I do love it, and as well in the back, it shows the other two Lego Ninjago mechs for Cole and Kai, and it shows a bunch of combinations you can do with them, especially to change them up. But yeah, this is the Lego set um, that I do love and was hoping to get because it has her hair piece. I already have the hair piece, it's just that I wasn't expecting this hair piece to be, you know, that kind of hair piece. But yeah, moving on to Eagle the Master Dragon, it has 532 Lego pieces. This is set 71809. It comes with Lord Raz, Cinder, Nia, Sora, and Lloyd. And, well, Eagle the Master Dragon himself. I don't know if you guys can see the box. Um, it is truly amazing. I love the printing and the stickers for this Lego set. Um, it's, it's kind of a lot, especially um, since only the ninja and eagle were represented in the show of a certain episode lord Raz and cinder weren't but it's comparing the two of how they needed the master to, le to learn rising dragon technique and defeat shatterspin um as you guys can see here in the corner it's the gong of shattering and the mallet of hmm the mallet of shattering mallet i think that's how you pronounce it but yeah as you guys can see here um eagle comes with his own little sword his tail is holding it I do like the design on the tail. It's a bit complex, but I love it. Here's the back of it. It does have a few features I do like, or not any features. Um, in the show, everyone thought he was going to be Master Wu, but, 
you know, he never turned out to be Master Wu. Um, but as you guys can see here, Nia has a hairpiece that's relevant to possibly the island or when she became one with the sea from a certain previous season. I'll be replacing that with her regular hair, possibly the mask only. But yeah, this looks amazing. I do love it. It only shows them, unfortunately, not Lord Razor Cinder, so that's a good thing. But yeah, this is the other Lego set from the January release of Ninjago 2024. Um, that is it for 2024. We do have um, the March and Summer sets um, as well, too. Starting off with Young Dragon Ryu, it is 132 pieces, and it's set 71810, and it's ages 6 and up. This set is so cute, so amazing. Um, it comes with Sora, a Wolf Claw Warrior, and... Yeah, Wolf Claw Mask... A Wolf Mask Warrior, not Claw Warrior. Sorry for the mispronunciation, and Eren. Um, it has Baby Dragon Ryu, so I do love that. Um, it also has Eren with the, you know, those elemental grapplers that, you know, Sora created in part one of season two. It is amazing. I do love it. Um, I like how they have the hairpiece for Sora now, the official hairpiece. Um, it's totally amazing, and Ryu became more bigger, so it fits at least two figures. Uh, this is the back of it. It shows how they're being on Ryu and they're defeating the Wolf Claw Warrior. But yeah, this is truly amazing. It's the first one from the March Wave, so yeah. Moving on to the next Lego set, I believe we have. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do from I'm doing from smallest to biggest boxes, so please bear with me. The next one we have is Aaron's Ninja Off Road Buggy Car, and it's 267 pieces. It is set 71811, and it's ages 7 and up. I do like this set accordingly because it does come with Climber Cole, Aaron, Baby Ryu, which is a, it's a negotiable questionnaire because Ryu was more bigger in the show than having Baby Ryu. Um, it also comes with the Wolf Claw Mask Warrior and Cinder. As you guys can see here, Cole has his Climber Mech suit, and it has the Elemental Grappler that, you know, Sora had created. The buggy looks amazing. I do like the buggy. Um, just overall in the show, as you guys know, I made my own Lego mock vehicles for the Ninja. Um, so once I be building them, I'll be comparing the Lego sets to their vehicles, technically. Not all of them, but some of them. Um, I do like the I do like the concept of the wheels because they're so big. Especially because, you know, there's certain printings on the car. I do like it. And, well, Cinder is the Elemental Master Smoke, so awesome here is the back of the box um this looks amazing it shows Aaron getting off you could easily pop off the hood the glass window of course um it's weird that the colors are just purplish navy blue and you know Aaron's colors but overall I can com I can kind of see why it's those two colors especially because um, Lord Raz was using it with when Georgiana was driving this vehicle to capture the spell also known as Bonzel um and even though that Aaron and Baby Ryu, hashtag Young Ryu, um, has been, you know, attacking Georgiana to save the spell, also known as Bonzel, to be able to protect her. It does show in this feature if it's too many figures and it shows Aaron driving it. But yeah, I do love the set overall. It's amazing, totally fetch to find. So I truly love it. Moving on to the next Lego set, we have... Kai's Ninja Climber Mech. This is one of the two mechs Kai has in the overall series of Season 2. Um, it is 623 pieces. It's a pretty big Lego set. It is set 71812. It comes with Jordana... Lo Ooh, sorry. Jordana, Jay, Kai, and Wildfire. Um, I can barely read the back, sorry. Um... This set is amazing. It comes with two of the grapplers, and it comes with one figure of Jay, and to complete only the collection of them, of course. Um, Wildfire, she, I like the headpiece and everything. It shows Jordana with her new hairpiece. Her hairpiece had changed over time, and it shows Kai in the sh in the mech just there. It has a few features I like. It kind of looks like a Power Rangers like Megazord kind of thing, or a Mini Zord. Uh, but I like it. It has two katanas that Kai would have and it has like a four arm kind of thing It's it's weird that it has four arms 
but here is the back of it of how they're cosplaying it in the Lego set. It shows Wildfire fighting Jordana and, well, Jay swinging along the ropes. Um, but yeah, overall, this is a cool Lego set. When they were going through their journey to find Eagle, the Master Dragon, um, Sora had made this climber mech for Kai. But yeah, this is an amazing set for the second wave. Moving on to... Ooh, the Wolf Mask Shadow Dojo. It has 1,190 pieces. And it is set 71813. It is totally amazing. I love this Lego set. Um, it comes with Zane, Kai, Nia, Lloyd, Lord Raz, Jordana, Cinder, and a Wolf Mask Claw Warrior. This is a huge Lego set. One of the first hugest ones I have. Um, it's totally amazing. I actually like the climber suits for All Ninja. I can't wait to open all these boxes for you guys. Totally amazing. Um... This set is ages 9 and up. I forgot to mention the age. Um, but I like how certain concepts of certain Lego sets, when I got them all, covered the title. Um, I don't blame it, but it, they could have always made the design image more smaller. But overall, I like it, especially with e right here and Kai right there. I've actually kind of noticed how it altered from Lloyd to Aaron to Kai. Um, it is an amazing Lego set overall. It has a few features I like, as well as the Gong of Shattering right there. Um, here is the back. It shows some features. It shows how you can find trapdoors with Kai, or it has the mouth opening in the front of the Shadow Dojo. Um, it has Nia, Zane, Kai, and Lord with their elemental grapplers, which is totally amazing, with Lord Raz and Jordana. Jordana's there having some tea, which is totally amazing. I love it. I adore her. Um, and there's Lord Raz just fighting Nia. I mean, Lord Raz has to be a buzzkill. But yeah, that is the Wolf Mask Shadow Dojo. I love this set. Totally amazing. Can't wait to collect my figures. Well, moving on to the last of the March Wave sets, we have the Dragonstone Shrine. It is 1,212 pieces. It is set 71819 and ages possibly 9 and up or 7 up. Actually, 13 ages and older. It comes with Euphrasia, Lloyd, Master Wu, Nia, Kai, and Lord Raz. Euphrasia is an official exclusive to this Lego set. I totally adore it. Oh, sorry. It's not going down. I love this Lego set so much. I do have a question about Kai and Nia, though. Why has their season one suits? Um, even though I do like them, though. Um, and it does have um, Lloyd as a sensei now, which is I think he's kind of training for. Sorry, let me go ahead and move this out the way for you guys. Um... Technically, it is an amazing Lego set. Um, it has Master Wu with his awesome dragon staff. Especially, I've been inventing more Ninjago weapons for the ninja in case I make my own ninja. But yes, I like the technique of what they did with the water. Um, Euphrasia is just here. Lord Rash is just fighting Lloyd for something. I don't know. But yeah, this is an amazing Lego set. I like the pink flowers on here. I am going to be buying a cabinet that will put all of them for display lock and lock it up. Um, but yeah, especially with their weapons, I do like it. I did have some ideas about a bunch of weapons, so, yeah. And then here's a concept of the bag, which is totally amazing. It shows where this rock can tilt back and forth. As you can see, Kainy are having tea. Euphrasia's laughing. Also, Lord is having tea, as well as Master Wu. Lord Rise is nowhere to be found in the picture. And it shows the little secret hiding spots here and there, or about certain spots around this shrine. But yeah, overall, I love this Lego set. It is totally amazing, and I guarantee I'm buying it if you guys want to have Euphrasia as a minifigure. And that is the last of the March Wave sets, so that is it for January and March so far. Um, as I did mention, I am missing six of the January release sets. Um, I'll be getting those soon, and probably reviewing them for a second video. But I do have the Season 2 Part 2 Ninjago sets as well. I collected all of them, of course. No worries, no worries. Except for one. We are missing a poly bag, which I don't have. I'll probably buy it on Amazon. But um, to start off, um, it's a total of like six Lego sets, so it's pretty amazing. To start off, we have Zane's Ice Motorcycle. It's 84 pieces, and it is set 71816, and it's ages 7 and up. Totally amazing. I like it when Zane has awesome vehicles. Honestly, Zane and Kai may possibly be my best Ninjago characters. But overall, all of them are my favorite characters, especially because it's the vehicles and the weapons and the elemental powers they have. Um, as you can see, it comes with Zane, 
And as you guys can see, this picture, um, it shows him riding his ice cycle. Um, if you guys can tell a little bit closer, the concept of the katana blades, there's a small one right here and a big one right here. If you guys know back in the past, I showed you guys how to make your own Ninjago Kai weapons where you guys can cut the blades in any level and size. Um, they actually made it out of Lego. It's pretty amazing. Officially, it's a Lego set, so I'm kind of surprised they actually did that. Um, I'm also surprised it doesn't show Zane with his armor for the Tournament of the Sources. Um, and I wonder why, but I'll probably buy a bunch of those armor pieces to have a lot of them. In case I have my own tournament, of course. But yeah, this set is super amazing. It is awesome. I just can't wait to build this because it's a small set. I'll probably make other versions of this vehicle for my own Lego figure and others, of course. But yeah, this is the first one of the summer sets for 2024. Going on to the next one, we do have the Tournament Battle Arena. It's 659 pieces. It is set 71818, and it's ages 7 and up. Um, on my voyage back from California, um, the boxes were in the back in the bag, and unfortunately, I didn't hy hypothesize the weather coming from there, so it kind of rained a little bit or a lot, and it kind of damaged some of these boxes. I am so upset that they damaged half of my boxes, but overall, everything is still intact. Nothing was damaged except for the box, so I'm upset the box has been damaged. It is fine, because this set comes with Kai, Sora, Cinder, Wolf, Mask Warrior, Evil J, and Tox. These two characters I was really going for, for Evil J and Tox. Um, they have a second version of Cinder, especially with a smoke form in the bottom path. And it shows J even being evil. Like, why does J have to be evil? We know he lost his memories, but... Um, it's just... It's an awesome Lego set. It's like a... It's just awesome. It comes with a few dragon stones of, like, golden dragon, you know, spirit things. Um, I think it represents the source dragons, especially when they're smaller, because Lloyd has been having a connection with them. Um, with Tox, I do have her in the Tournament of Elements from 2015 as a figure. Especially, um, Jay, Kai, and the Master of Smoke. Cinder was not a part of that back then. But yes, I do love the set overall. Here is the back concept of it. It has a few um, features. It shows that you can move these, you know, tournament, like, components. Um, the stairs are movable, and it just shows you how to pull it away and for them to slide. But yeah, it shows them just battling out, Toxikita and Kai, and then a wolf mask using, um, you know, sh shatter spin, I believe. But um, it's technically a lot. So a lot of plot twists have happened throughout the show, um, especially with Jay, so I am kind of sad. But I like... I like how the armor is black and it's awesome. But yeah, that is the second Lego set of the way for summer. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to have the rest of my Lego sets though. Moving on to the second Lego set. Um, this one's pretty long, well, pretty wide, but it's smaller. Um, it is the Ninja Team Combo Vehicle. It is 576 pieces. And it comes with Lloyd, Cole, Nia, Sora, Wolf Mask General, and a Wolf Mask Warrior. And it is set 71820. It shows this vehicle literally just, it's like amazing. It's my first combo vehicle I ever gotten. Um, and I'm surprised that some of these Elemental Masters have, you know, still have their powers. But um, it's just, it's pretty wild. Um, this set is ages 9 and up. Um, there's not really much to talk about other than design and detailing on this Lego set. I do love it. It's an expendable item. Um, I just, I love the details and colors. Um, to trans, trans to, to blah, 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 blah. Moving on to the back of the box, as you guys can see, it does explain how we can take apart the Lego set into other vehicles. It also shows in the show how it actually moved around and how it combines and so. And... You see Cole, Nia, Sora, and Lloyd in their perfect elemental vehicles. I call it the elemental vehicles because it's individually and has their colors on it. But yeah, especially with the stud shooters for Sora, it's pretty amazing. But yeah, this is an awesome set. It's when they were about to be exiled from the Tournament of the Sources, and Zane used an old rule from, you know, the Tournament of the Sources where you have to compete in a race, and if you lose, you're exiled. If you win, you stay in the tournament. 
But yeah, this is an awesome set going on to the summer. Moving on to the next Lego set, it is Cole's Titan Dragon Mech. It is a thousand fifty-five pieces, y'all. It's a lot. Um, and it comes with Cole only, Mech Cole. It's a new design. It's a bigger box. Unfortunately, this was one of the other boxes that was damaged in the rain. So as you guys can see, this is the damage of it. Um, if I did want to sell this Lego set, I won't even get a lot out of it because it is damaged. And possibly will be open soon. But yeah, um, this set's amazing. Um, it is set 71821 and it's ages 12 and up. This is a huge Lego set. Why does it have to be this huge? It's a big Lego mech. Um, I, I can't really complain because I do have a bunch of Lego dragons and they're pretty big, so pretty much. Um, I love the detailing on this. Um, this was when, um, what's his name? He's the Master of Fusion. Um, dang. But, you know, it's Cole and his friend from the Land of Lost Things. They basically reunite in the Tournament of the Sources. And they find this Lego mech, or the Titan mech, basically around the Tournament of the Sources. Um, there's not really much to talk about because I don't really know anything about much of the show. I only watched it a few times. Especially because it was a release on accident by Peacock, the streaming service. Um, I do like the Lego set and some of the weapons it has attached to it as part of the design. Especially with Cole's design on it too. Here's the back of it. Um, it shows how tall it is and you know, it comes with the staff and it belongs to Kai Cole's mother. Sorry, not Kai. Um, Cole's mother had recently passed away due to an illness back when he was young. This set is... I don't know how to say amazing, but I could say it's mysterious. I kind of can't wait to build this. But yeah, it's one of the Lego sets that I actually are, I'm interested in because of certain Lego pieces I kind of want to re-get. So, pretty much. Moving on to, <clears throat> to the next Lego set. Oh my goodness. The second hugest Lego set I have of all Lego Ninjago sets. It is a Source Dragon of Motion. Um, it is 1,716 pieces. And it's really big. And it comes with Kai, Aaron, Wildfire, Lord Raj, Jordana, and a Wolf Mask Warrior. This is the biggest Lego set it is. I don't know if it fits in the camera. It is set 71822. Um, and it's ages 12 and up. This set is pretty big and it just, it's a lot. Um, um, it shows how there's little translucent little source dragons flying around, as you guys can see. Oh, it's so big, I don't want to take it out of the camera. But, um, it kind of go. I like how, like, they still had the title, and it, like I said, goes behind the titling. They should have done that with the Shadow Dojo, but they didn't do so. It shows Lord Rez on top of the dragon, apparently. I wonder why. I don't know if the, sor if the source dragon emotion is his master, but um, these little dragons that you see on the round the set, it's other source dragon possibly. Um, you can see Aaron grappling onto the dragon. You can see Wildfire fighting Jordana, Kai fighting a wolf mask warrior. Basically, Aaron's going after Lord Raz. And the source dragon emotion isn't doing anything, just standing there looking pretty. But yeah, here is the back of the Lego set. It shows the other features it has. Unfortunately, I can't really show it in the video it's really hard it shows how tall and high it is how wide and you know how long it is it shows his lord rise's throne basically how it can detach and become just a normal dragon um kai and lord and wildfire right here apparently aaron's right there source dragon emotion is happy that they are freed um as well as the other source dragons right now four five six so there's six of them so it does represent the other source dragons I do like the set overall. I like how it's super big. It's going to be super big when I build it. Overall, this set is amazing. I do like this, especially because of the printing and detail and the color of the set. Especially because the dragon is a flame flame fighter. I thought I'm a caller, probably a flame fighter. But yeah, I like the set overall. I'm getting a ton of, Le of Lego minifigure clones. Basically duplicates of the same figure. That's what I mean. Moving on to the last Lego set of those of the year and of the summer sets. It is the Tournament Temple City 
3,489 Lego pieces. And it comes with Lloyd, Cole, Zane, Nia, Aaron, Wildfire, Lord Raz, Jordana, Mr. Pale, a Temple Guard, Blacked, a Blacksmith, that kind of look, looks like Euphrasia, and Roby. This set is the third biggest Lego set, probably the ultimate Lego set there is. I think I have to scoot back for this one. Oh my goodness. So, as you guys can see here, it's a pretty big Lego set. Um, it shows the Blacksmith Shop right here. Tournament Temple City. It looks like the, tur the, the Dragon Core Temple from the previous Lego set I opened. This is a pretty big Lego set. And Mr. Pell's right here. Aaron's just riding on his hot air balloon. Jordano and Nia fighting. It shows Wildfire and probably the small dragon of Heat Wave. Or a motion dragon. Um, and it shows Zane, a temple guard. And right here you see Roby next to the the blade cup or something. I don't know. It's an elemental cup, but they transfer powers to powers to other elemental fighters. Oh my gosh. This set is 71814. Um, and it's ages 14 and up. A biggest Lego set. This was a crushed, damaged box as well because of my trip back home. I am totally s saddened that this box is destroyed and it's semi-opened because it kind of got opened in the process on its own. This is the back of the box. Um, it shows all, well not all play features, but it shows like the back of the Lego set and it shows certain play features you can see here. Um, or it just shows what they're doing. But overall this set is amazing. I like it. Um, I like how I'm getting a bunch of cool pieces. I can't wait to open it to see what the piece is going to be. And especially what to make on my own after I build it. Um, but yeah, this set is amazing. It's pretty big. It's honestly hurting my hand right now. But to show the last of it, it shows how wide it is, what the length is, and how tall it is. So you guys can see right there. But yeah, it looks pretty big. I saw it. It is super huge at the Lego store because that's where I bought all these Lego sets was at the Lego store in California. Um, this set is pretty amazing. I like it. I honestly, I don't know if I will build these Lego sets yet, but after buying all these Lego sets, I did get a free gift with purchase that I got with it. It was the Trophy Award, 157 pieces. It is set 40688. Um, and it's ages 7 and up, so I'll probably be the building this Lego set first because it is a free gift of purchase, as you guys can see right here. But yeah, this Lego set is amazing. I do like it. Um, it shows up, not a lot of things, but um, it's a limited edition, basically. And it shows that it's replaceable on certain parts. Even the Lego clerk had told me that certain parts are replaceable, including the banner colors, like certain piece colors or pieces in general. But yeah, I do like this trophy overall. Um, it's kind of it kind of reminds me of like the Lego Master trophy I got. Um, but yeah, I do like it. So yeah, that's basically just it. If you guys haven't checked it out already, I've been posting a few more videos on TikTok for the Lego Ninjago stuff. Um, so this video is out now on TikTok. Um, I had made it a few days ago in California. Um, this is a video just of previewing all Lego Ninjago sets that I own so far, and I have just preview part one. Um, I'll be getting the other Lego Ninjago sets soon enough for you guys. Um, we're cutting in close to, to the end of the day's video. If you guys are brand new to the channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button with the bell notifications to get notified on the newest videos I have, possibly notified about TikTok. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, don't forget to click the like, comment, share buttons with all friends and family who loves Legos or Lego Ninjago sets in general, because I have so many here. Especially free gift with purchases. But yeah, um, don't forget to comment down below on these videos to, you know, have if you guys have any questions or concerns or what I do in my time of Legos or what I do in my free time with Legos. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and see you guys next time. Peace out.